Hi everyone. Today I have some questions from the poem Leisure by W. H. Davies. These questions are not ordinary ones. You will have to think before you answer them. So are you ready to put on your thinking cap? Five questions and answers with explanation. Okay, so this is the first stanza of the poem. What is this life if full of care? We have no time to stand and stare. No time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as sheep or cows. My question is, pick out two pairs of rhyming words in this stanza. Which word in this stanza means branches? First one, pick out two pairs of rhyming words in the stanza. Do you know what rhyming words are? They are words that sound similar. So, do you know the answer? Two pairs of rhyming words are care and stare, bows and cows. Which word in the stanza means branches? Are you thinking? The word bows means branches. Got it? This is the second stanza. No time to see when woods we pass, where squirrels hide their nuts in grass. No time to see in broad daylight, streams full of stars like skies at night. Here's the question. Find a word that means forest. Got it? The word woods means forest. The next question, explain this. Streams full of stars. Are the streams really full of stars? What do you think? So here's the explanation. Streams full of stars like skies at night. You know, when you look at a sky at night, what it looks like with all the stars shining brightly. Now the stream looked exactly like that. Why? Because in broad daylight, the sun would have been shining brightly on the water. And when the sun shines on the water, it sparkles and shines. It sparkles like stars. I'm sure you can imagine this. Imagine that you are standing near a water body and you see the sun shining on it. You will see tiny little sparkles all over the water as it moves. Am I right? That's what this means. So explain streams full of stars. The streams were sparkling and shining in broad daylight because the sun was shining on the streams. So it resembled a starry night. Okay? This is the next stanza. No time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet how they can dance. No time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile her eyes began. Give the example of personification that the poet has used in this stanza. Just in case you have forgotten what personification is, it is a figure of speech where an inanimate object gets the quality of a human, a human quality. Something that is not human is given a human quality. Got it? If you look carefully, you will see that the word beauty starts with a capital B. There is no reason for that, except that the poet wants to personify the word beauty. So beauty is given a human quality, not just that, but the poet makes beauty a female. If you read further, you will see and watch her feet how they can dance. No time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile her eyes began. So beauty is a female over here and personified because of the capital B there. 
Okay? A poor life this, if full of care, we have no time to stand and stay. And here's my last and final question for you. Do you agree with the poet that life is not so great if we have no time for leisure? What do you think? Mm. Well, you can think of it either way, but I would say that leisure is definitely very important. We are so busy going about our work, so very busy that we do not have time to stand and admire nature. And it is very important to do so because that helps us to relax, feel rejuvenated, and then that will make us ready for another strenuous day at work. But you might choose to disagree with me and say that, no, we should not bother about leisure at all. That's perfectly okay. It's a matter of opinion. And there's no right or wrong answer. Okay? I'll end here for now. Bye.